been revealed that city of Johannesburg officials and police members are behind the enabling of hijacked buildings in the metro. Just a week after the Marshalltown fire, the city of Johannesburg had earmarked this property to temporarily house those affected by the blaze. But upon inspection, the city of Johannesburg found that construction was already taking place on the site for illegal occupation. Upon arrival, we understood that it, it's in the process of being hijacked. There are no occupants here. People that were arrested are contractors that are working on revamping or repurposing or using it for whatever purposes that they had identified or earmarked this place for. So fortunately we were able to intercept it on time, the same way hopefully I think we will do with many other structures and facilities that belong to the city. 20 people were arrested during a sting operation, including a bogus landlord who claimed to own this property, which belongs to the city of Johannesburg. It's understood construction workers were stripping bricks from neighboring buildings and erecting walls around this area. During the sting operation, city of Joburg Mayor Gabelo Guamanda did a walkabout of the site where he confirmed that several high-profile individuals are behind the intricate syndicate of high Buildings. Businessmen, police from SAPS, um, a kennel who is involved, um, he assigned uh, the attendance register of the minutes um, that uh, discussed the taking over of the space. Have these high profile people been arrested? At the moment he's not around. We tried to call him. Apparently he's in Cape Town. So we will then communicate with the provincial commissioner on the process of uh, bringing him into to come and look out. The mayor says the city is investigating 188 illegally occupied buildings in the metro. Of those 188 cases, 17 of those properties belong to the city of Johannesburg, while the others are owned by the private sector and other spheres of government. Veronica Mahwadi, Eyewitness News.